Hello and welcome back to Adventures of Well, I'm me, and today we're going to be continuing our Museum of Gaming A to Z for the Nintendo 64. We are playing Hercules, uh, Legendary Journeys. Uh, let's continue without saving. We're just going to go straight into it. It's by Titus. There you go. Um, <laughs> I don't know why that was like an amazing thing. Cause, yeah. Player one. Alright. Um know absolutely nothing about this game other than the fact that it's based on the TV show. We're playing in English. There we go. Done. Alright. Stay well, friend, and I'll tell you an epic tale. This is the story of time long ago, a time of myth and legend. When the ancient gods were pretty, or petty and cruel, and plagued mankind with suffering, only one man dared to challenge their power. Hercules. Hercules possessed a strength the world had never seen. A strength surpassed only by the power of his heart. Wherever there was evil, Wherever an innocent would suffer, there would be Hercules. Listen as I tell you a tale of one such legendary journey. Drinking an elixir poisoned by Hera, Zeus, the almighty king of the gods, fell ill. This gave Ares, son of Zeus and brother to Hercules, an opportunity to seize the throne. These events transpired unnoticed by the rest of the gods who merely sensed an imbalance in the godly plane of existence. Most fled the mortal plane to investigate the cause of the dis disturbance, causing turmoil among the mortals on Gaia. As most of the gods were either too busy or petty to care about the mortals, it would be up to Hercules to save them. We begin the tale as Hercules awakens in the training stable of his master, Chiron. Alright. Here we go. Good morning, Hercules. It is time to train. Follow me outside so that we may begin. Let us go. <laughs> this kind of looks funny. I need you to be clear. Oh, I need you to clear these rocks out of this field for me, Hercules. Walk up to any of these rocks you see here. Oh, wow, okay. Notice that your action indicator becomes grab when you are next to and facing an item that you can pick up. Press the A button to pick up the rock. Press the A button again to throw the rock in the direction that you are facing. The harder you push on the control stick, the farther you will throw the rock. Excellent, now clear all these boulders out of this field. <laughs> all right. This is, um, interesting. I wasn't really expecting, uh, the game to look like this for some reason. I don't, I, I have no idea what I was expecting, to be honest. All, all I had seen was pretty much the, uh, good job, Hercules. You can use crates to get to higher elevations, Hercules. Walk up to the crate on the other side of the fence. Um. Uh, can we jump? Oh, we can. Cool. Notice that the action indicator becomes kick when you stand next to the crate. Walk up to the crate and press the A part and this will kick it in the direction that you are facing. Crates help you reach higher areas. Use this crate to jump up to the ledge on the other side of the fence. Um, yeah, all I had literally seen for this game was the box art. Um, because I was making the thumbnail. So I had no idea what to expect. Oh, look how perfectly that just aligned itself. Ugh, the camera is a little bit difficult to control. Oh, I mean, not control, just deal with, I guess. Notice that the action indicator becomes climb when you're next to a ladder. Ladders are also useful for reaching higher elevations. To climb a ladder, press the A button when the action indicator shows climb, then move the control stick up. He's so slow at climbing. 
for being a demigod. He's so slow. When you encounter a very heavy object, Hercules, you are required to exert extra force in order to lift it. Press the A button to lift the heavy object, then tap the A button repeatedly to lift it. Make your way to the log bridge after completing this task. Oh, bam. Look at that. Legendary. Um. So far, so good. Let's see if you can make your way across the chasm. Notice that when you push the control stick slightly, you walk more slowly. This is useful in areas like this. It would also be useful to press the Z camera view, press and hold the Z button to look behind you. Until you release the Z button, the camera will stay in this mode. While you're here, while you're there up there, Hercules, I suggest that you visit the scribe. She is waiting for you in the, her hut, which is located above the barn. Oh, what? I didn't think you would move if you're holding Z. That's annoying. Okay. Let's uh, climb back up here slowly. I want to get the treasure chest up there. Come on. Uh, ah! <laughs> there we go. Uh, let's open this chest. Hmm, what's this? There's a note in here. To destroy large objects, Hercules, you may need to use your superhuman punch to charge this power. Press and hold the B button. Then release the B button to throw a blow that will send your opponents really and objects flying. I'm sure this will come in handy. Oh, boom! Alright, well that's that. Now we need to get back across here. Oh. Man, it is so hard to control. Do, 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 do. Bam! Oof. Bam! When you see an enemy with stars around his head, it indicates that he is dazed and vulnerable. This is when you can lift and throw them. Lift the dazed dummy by pressing the A button while facing it. I don't know why I have to do that every time. Yeah. <laughs> Great job, Hercules. Now walk to the center of the ring of dummies you see ahead. Well, I saw a waterfall ahead. This is a time test area, Hercules. There are six combat dummies around you. Try to destroy them all before the counter expires. Whoa! Unfortunate, Hercules, but a noble attempt. What? That's not fair. That just like ended before I could do anything. Forget it. You're a terrible trainer. All right, let's go see the scribe. Greetings, Hercules. I am the scribe. I will be documenting your heroic deeds so the future generations may pay witness to your epic adventures. Whenever you see me, feel free to talk to me so that I can make amendments to your tales. Essentially, she's going to save the game for us. And then she's going to ask if we want to use the rumble pack. Because that's what happened in Hercules. Apparently. Um, now what? We've seen the scribe. What? Where'd he go? Hey, mate. 
perhaps you should travel to Trachius. I hear that the trouble is brewing there. Good luck on your journeys, Hercules. Thanks, mate. I'll go away. <laughs> is there anything in the barn? We never checked this. Ooh, we should... Ooh, we might be able to find some... Hit. We might be able to find some secret stuff now. No? Apparently not. No, no secret stuff. Rawr! Boosh, boosh. Alright, let's head off. Let's get one mission done at least. That was the tutorial. That was alright for a tutorial. It wasn't too bad. I feel like I at least know what's going on. Ooh, doo -doo. He runs so funny. I don't even know which way. Ooh, I guess we're going the other way. Bam, 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 bam. Yeah, oh, bam, bam, bam. Is this like a never-ending place? Of enemies? I don't know what I was saying then. Do they just keep spawning? Oh man, you got me. Oh no, oh no. The legendary Hercules is down. Bam! There we go. Um, that was interesting. Okay, now we're running properly. Looks a little bit better. So yeah, money. Smash that up as well. Um, except that we're low on health, which is not good at all. Ah! Got to tap like crazy for this. Come on! Bam! We got a key. Ooh, there's something behind the waterfall here. We got a key. Didn't we? We got the key. I have to use a key to unlock it. That, that's what we got from here. We went in here, we got the key. And then over here. I'm so. Oh, wow, okay. Um, this is scary. Okay, so it's not allowing me to actually open the door. Is there something that we have to do here? Uh, okay, so you have to select- It did not tell me that I could select items like that. Wow. Wow, okay. Bam, bam. Hey. 
AK. Oh, come on. There's that done. Oh, no, 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 no. Come on, come on. I was going to say, we can't die just yet. Bam. Oh, yes, we got a hundred health. That's a hundred health. What? Alright, we smashed the boulder. There's a garbage truck outside. What on earth? What is this thing? I'm gonna assume this is the way to go. This sucks that they're like impeding our movement. No, I'm gonna assume that's not the way to go. It looked way too long. <laughs> um, yeah. This is a bad design in any game. Going through water and having your movement slowed like that. I know it's more realistic, but. The fact that we don't have like a run button as it is, like I know we're moving relatively fast, but it just slows everything down. Um, and I have, I have like a major issue when games use that as like attractive. Like I know it's supposed to be more immersive in the long run. Um, what was the game? The Order, eighteen eighty six. That did it. At the start where you've been injured, you've been tortured, and um, because of that, they have you moving really slow, crawling through this area. Because um, you got like broken leg or whatever. And it's like, that's great for immersion, but it took me an hour, or not an hour, it took me like half an hour, because I got kind of, look, I got a little bit bored. So I was getting distracted quite easily, but because it took so long for me to beat that, it put me off wanting to play the game. Um, and it's a short game as it is. I mean, it was pretty good, like for what it was worth, like the shooter like that. But having a game purposely slow you down is one of the worst things I think you could you could do in game creation. Because look, we're not that fast as a character already. Um, it just, it ruins the whole flow of the game. In my opinion, that is. This is literally just my opinion, so... You know, other people might beg to differ, but I just found it was one of the worst things you could do in the game, and doing it in this is just as bad. Like, there's really no point to it. Alright, there we go. I want to, like, spend our money that we're, we're so graciously fighting everywhere. Come on. Bam! Bam! Oh, what? See, so that is one thing I'm really finding difficult with this, like, oh, doing these powered up punches or whatever it is, and then it's not like doing it properly. Oh, we just died. We just died. That's probably a good point to, uh, to end on. Wow. Look, the controls are a little bit flimsy. I'll give it that much. 
uh, the camera and the way that you had to do certain moves to progress, I guess. Um, using that super power punch to like blow up those, or burn up, blow up, to smash those tents made it difficult um, because it wasn't 100% responsive. Um, and for that reason alone, I would probably give Hercules the Legendary Journeys 5 out of 10. It was alright, it just had quite a lot of flaws in it that really needed fixing up. Um, but that's it for today guys. Uh, tomorrow we are going to be playing Hexen, which I have no idea what it is, um, but we'll find out very, very, very soon. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, please hit that like button, it really helps me out, and subscribe if you're not subscribed already to see more content coming your way. Anyway, have a great day guys, and I'll catch you next time. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching. If you want to check out the previous video for this series, click the top left video. If you want to check out my favourite videos from my own playlists, check out the bottom one where I've compiled them all together for you to check out. And if you're not subscribed, you can hit my logo up in the top right to subscribe. Again, thank you so much and I'll catch you next time.